When I was first diagnosed with leukemia, I was 12 years old, and it was actually the summer going into middle school. When I was re-diagnosed in 2006, I had been living life as normal as possible. I didn't have to go to the doctors as much. I took um, my regular dose of, dosage of Gleevec, which was my medication at the time, um, and I would come actually up to Gainesville every summer to visit doctors here. Um, and that's when my oncologist told me that the leukemia had basically come back. It was basically stem cells from a baby's umbilical cord that saved my life. And I don't even think that mother who decided to donate her baby's umbilical cord would have ever, you know, contemplated it having such a huge effect and life-saving capabilities that it's had on my life. Every February 3rd, that's the date that I got my transplant, I try to stop and think about it and just be thankful and grateful for that opportunity and just think about how that mother affected my life and how I can in turn use that power that she gave me and whether it's through talking to individuals about it who didn't know about it or you know encouraging individuals just to donate blood I feel like that's the least I can do. If it wasn't for that mother donating that baby's umbilical cord, if it wasn't for Life South, if it wasn't for you know um, Life Court, I know that I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have the opportunities to attend such a great institution like the University of Florida. I wouldn't have the opportunities to still be able to watch my nieces and nephews grow up and enjoy the time that I'm able to spend with my family. I wouldn't have the opportunity to say that I'm going to law school. I wouldn't have those opportunities that normal individuals take for granted. And so why not take that opportunity when it's at no cost to you um, you're basically giving someone the opportunity at life. Um, if there aren't enough words in the English vocabulary to adequately express how grateful I am for that mother for making that decision, um, I, of course I wish that I could meet that mother and just tell her thank you and I feel like the first thing I would do is just give her a hug. Um, but unfortunately, since I probably will never have that opportunity, my way of telling her thank you is by talking to people and telling them my story and trying to encourage them to donate. And I think that there's a ripple effect with everything you do. So why not do something positive and have you know your initial acts of kindness transcend to something greater, like saving someone's life.